Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruig. I hold the David J. Ellis Chair in Large Animal Clinical Sciences and Antimicrobial Resistance at Michigan State University. And today in our continuing series about antibiotic usage on dairy farms, we're going to be discussing non-permitted drug usage on dairy farms. Now, before we get into this topic, I wanna to remind you that in previous videos, we've discussed various aspects of approved drug usage. In video two, we discussed approved drugs and included a list of drugs that are approved. And in video four, we reviewed the difference between prescription drug usage and extra label drug usage. Now the background from both of those videos is important um, in order to be able to understand the concepts of non-approved usage of antimicrobials that we're discussing today. I want to start off by mentioning a resource that is important um, if you're interested in more information on the subject. The website farad.org has a number of resources, including lists of non-approved drugs and approved usage, and a lot of resources relative to minimizing the risk of residues in um, dairy products. So I'd encourage you to check out that link. I also want to remind you that um, we'll be talking about non-approved usage in lactating dairy cows today. And in order to understand that non-approved usage, we have to have the same definition of what a lactating cow is that the FDA has as their definition of a lactating cow. And um, while we may think we know what a lactating cow is, the FDA has very specific criteria for that category of animal. According to the FDA, a lactating dairy cow is any female dairy animal who is more than 20 months of age. And that applies whether or not that animal is, has ever given birth or is producing milk. So when we talk about lactating dairy cows, um, we're talking about female dairy animals who are more than 20 months of age. And the rules that we're talking about today about non-permitted usage apply to this class of animals. Now there's a few kind of broad rules about non-approved usage of drugs on dairy farms. And the first one is really obvious. Producers cannot give prescription drugs without a veterinary prescription. And if you want to know more about that subject, go back and review video four. Second thing I want to talk about is the route that the antimicrobial or the antibiotic is given. Antibiotics that are given in feed or water require a veterinary feed directive, which is essentially a prescription from a vet for that um, feeding of that antibiotic. However, in lactating dairy cattle, there are no veterinary feed directive drugs approved. In other words, drugs cannot be given in feed or water to lactating cows. That route is a non-permitted use. All right, there are specific prohibited drugs that cannot be given to any food producing animal ever. And that includes chloramphenicol and other drugs on this list. And I'd encourage you if you ever have any questions about if a drug is approved for any use at all to refer to these lists, which can be found on the ferret.org website. Now, um, reviewing some of the completely prohibited drugs like chloramphenicol um, and understanding that we can't use those is pretty straightforward. But there are some drugs that are approved for some uses in dairy cattle, but cannot be used in an extra label fashion. And I want to um, review just a few of those because it's kind of confusing. First one is sulfonamide drugs. So there are um, some approved usage in lactating dairy cows of sulfa dimethoxine. And the sulfa dimethoxine label of the approved drug is for treatment of shipping fever, pneumonia, or foot rot in lactating cows. 
any use for treatment of any other disease of that sulfadimethoxine is prohibited. So there's no extra label usage of that drug that's allowed. That means sulfonamides cannot be given to treat other conditions such as mastitis. Secondly, ceftiafur, this third generation cephalosporin of which we have Spectrumast LC, Spectrumast DC as intramammary formulations, and XL, Naxel, Exceed, and um, others for systemic administration, those drugs have to be used according to the label. You cannot use Ceftifur for disease prevention or by an unapproved dose, frequency, or duration. That label has to be exactly followed. So for example, the Spectrumast LC label says once a day treatment for two to eight days. That's the only way that product can be given. You cannot give it twice a day. That's a non-permitted use. And then finally, there's a few drugs that um, we may have on the farm for treatment of calves. Something like Batril, a fluoroquinolone, the enrofloxacin product. Those products are prohibited from use in lactating cows. So even though you may have them on the farm, you cannot give them to um, lactating cows. You can find lists of um, some of these prohibited drugs for extra label usage also on the FairEd website. All right, let's recap. There's only a few antibiotics that are approved for use in lactating cows. And remember, lactating cows applies to all female dairy animals 20 months of age or older. There are no antibiotics that are approved to be given in feed or water for lactating cows. That usage is simply prohibited. There are some groups of antibiotics that are prohibited from use in lactating cows, and that includes chloramphenicol and enrofloxacin. And then there's other antibiotics, which can only be used exactly as the label indicates. And those would be things like ceftiafur and sulfonamides. All of these rules um, and the kind of the confusion about some of these make it really important that you're working closely with your local veterinarian in order to make sure that the subtleties of these non-approved uses are followed. Now, as I conclude this video, I want to remind us that the purpose of these rules is not to make things harder for us. The purpose of these rules is to make sure that consumers understand that we have rules, that we're following the rules, and those rules are to ensure the production of healthy, safe, nutritious dairy products.